So we're here in uh, Riverside Park. We're by a memorial to Civil War, Civil War dead, American Civil War. And it's interesting to note that the way this monument is built is recalling classical architecture, the classical columns, the Greek and Roman style columns. Uh, recalling that America is a democracy that's, uh, that in some ways is modeled on the world's first democracy created in Athens in the late 6th century BC. And uh, we've tried to improve on what, they, uh, on what they did because in many ways, they, as, as you might expect with a first experiment like that, they, they went astray and uh, uh, destroyed themselves through the Peloponnesian War. But a hundred years ago, when this was built, these classical references were still potent. It's probably been in the last hundred years, 150 years, that we've begun to lose, many people have begun to lose those connections to classical antiquity. I think what's important about classical antiquity is it, it helps us find a way to, to think about ourselves, to think about our own lives. Because one thing, the Greeks, and I'm speaking principally of the Greeks, I'm a Hellenist, that's where I really, where much of my emotional life and intellectual life is spent is with the Greeks. The Greeks found ways of talking about the human condition that are, I think, eternally relevant. Uh, whatever one's cultural background, whatever your national background or your ethnic background, the Greeks found a way of boiling down the human experience to its essential. Just like those pillars that we see back there are, are a distillation of uh, architectural gesture and, and function. And that the literature of the Greeks and the Romans, just like their art and like their architecture, boils down the human experience in a very potent and powerful way that still speaks to us today.